गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन द मॉडल ऑफ एटम गिवेन बाय नील्स बोर द एटॉमिक मॉडल गिवेन बाय नील्स बोर इज द एक्सेप्टेड मॉडल टिल टूडे आफ्टर अल्फा पार्टिकल स्केटरिंग एक्सपेरिमेंट ऑफ रदरफोर्ड रदरफोर्ड गेव ए मॉडल फॉर एन एटम बट बाय मेकिंग सम करेक्शन इन द रदरफोर्ड मॉडल्स बोर रिमूव्ड द लिमिटेशन एंड ड्रॉबैक्स ऑफ द रदरफोर्ड्स मॉडल and he is own model of atom according to bohr atom is made up of three particles tiny particles called electrons electrons protons and neutrons These are called some atomic particles by which an atom is made up of. Up of electrons are negatively charged particles, protons are positively charged particles, and neutrons have no electric charge. We know it. Since in an atom number of electrons is equal to number of protons. and both are oppositely charged therefore an atom is atom is neutral electrically neutral atom is electrically neutral the protons and neutrons these two sub atomic particles protons and neutrons are located at the center of the atom called nucleus this is the nucleus in the nucleus these two sub atomic particles protons are and neutrons are located since proton is electrically positive and neutron is neutral so nucleus of atom is positively charged we also know that the mass of electron is negligible so the total mass of the atom is located in the nucleus of the atom bohr according to bohr the electrons negatively charged electrons revolve around the nucleus rapidly in circular paths called energy levels here these are energy levels these are energy levels various energy levels have their fixed amount of energy i mean to say that a fixed amount of energy is associated with different energy levels since electrons revolve in a particular energy level so it does not lose energy and atom remains stable bohr represents these energy levels by number 1 2 3 4 5 6 and so on and by letter k l m n o p q counting from the nucleus we start counting the energy levels energy cells or orbits from the nucleus the electrons having a particular amount of energy will revolve in the energy level whose energy is equivalent to the respecting particular electrons 
each energy level that is energy cell has ability to hold a maximum number of electrons it means and an energy level can hold a fixed number of electrons which is given by the formula relation to n square where n is number of orbit orbit number or cell number by using this simulation we find that in k cell number of electrons to in l cell number of electrons e in n cell number of electrons at n n cell number of electrons is 32 o 50 and so on it means k cell cannot hold more, more than two electrons l is not able to hold more than eight electrons m is not able to hold more than 18 electrons and so on orbits or cells can hold less number of electrons having its maximum ability maximum ability of k is 2 so it can hold one electron hydrogen is its example Each energy level is associated with a fixed amount of energy. I have told before. There is no change in the energy of the electrons during revolving in a particular energy cell. It means atom and electrons. do not lose electron energy during revolving in a particular energy level due to this atoms remain stable but there there is a change there is a change in the energy of electron in an atom it change in energy in electron takes place when electrons jump jump to higher energy level from lower energy level or when comes back comes back from Higher energy level, energy level to lower energy level. It means when electron changes its orbit, jumps to higher level or comes back to lower level, there is a change in the energy of the electron. when electrons gain energy it jumps from lower to higher and when electrons comes come back to higher energy level to lower energy level it lose electrons a uh, energy it loses electron energy this is all about the bohr's model in next video i will tell you about the distribution of electrons in various energy levels that is energy cells or orbits okay thank you